Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, the 2nd of November. I can't believe it's November. This year's been the longest year, but it's also gone really fast. My hair's a mess. <laughs> I'm one of those people, I don't like the when it gets all bubbly at the top, but it's one of those things you can't control. So it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, Jennifer slept better last night when she went to sleep. She didn't want to straight away, but she did. Um, she settled down and, and went off and she's been asleep all night, which is great news. So obviously the, uh, she got out of her bed once last night, I think. Um, Paul went up, put her back in, and then I went up and gave her a hug because she was kicking off, and yeah, that's when I settled her down because I was going to have a shower and go to bed anyway, which I did. Um, so yeah, she's all good. Now, we are still in lockdown in Wales. Um, the First Minister is today supposed to announce what's going to happen next week when we come out of our lockdown in Wales. Well, England are going into lockdown on um, Thursday, so it is confusing. It would be easier if there was one um, thing across the board, but it doesn't work like that. Health is a devolved issue. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's been a weird year. I mean, it's hard to um, think. Now, obviously with lockdown being um, announced, there's going to be a lot of changes at, with my work, with what I do, um, with the recruitment due to interviews and things like that. So I'm going to have to see what happens there. They'll be all go virtual. That's normally what happened. That's what happened last time. So we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to go get dressed. Oh god, she's wearing a really spotty dress. It's playing havoc with my eyes or a pattern dress. Oh, that's better now. She's close up. But she was far away. It looked really weird. You can't even see it. Sorry, I don't know why I'm going on about it. It's the Welsh news. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go get myself dressed and ready. Clean my teeth. Go and get dressed. Get Jennifer up. Get Paul up. And take her to nursery and then start the day. Joy. See you later. Jennifer didn't want to get up and go to nursery, but she was fine once we dropped her off, which is always the best. So she's fine. So that's good. I'm not so fine. I'm starting to feel the effects of it now I think this morning it's hit me I'm a person who's quite solitary I like being on my own I don't mind most of the lockdown stuff um I love the working from home I'm not gonna lie I, I do I don't want to go back to working in the office because I hated that it made me very depressed just the daily commute was it was too much for me but the not being able to go anywhere they're not being able to see people. And I'm not a big people person, but I do have some very good friends I want to see. I haven't seen anyone other than shop people outside my family since March, when the first lockdown happened. Paul has Zoomed with his friends. I haven't. I talked to my friends on Facebook. And of course, you guys are my friends. But say I, I am starting to feel a bit down. Um, I do suffer from depression. I'm not going to lie, I do. I am on antidepressants and I'm not ashamed of it. It's what it is. And I keep going for Jennifer. One for Jennifer, I would probably just crawl into bed and sleep. So I'm glad I've got her because she keeps me smiling. And she made me smile this morning when she went into nursery. She gave the carer a big hug and she was fine then. And that makes me happy. So that did make me feel better. But then. So I want I want to be able to go to the pub with my mate my mate Bev from work and have a drink or two or three like we did last last Christmas we went out one afternoon I think it was Black Friday actually what we call Black Friday is a drinking day not a shopping day and um, I think it's, it's supposed to be the last payday before Christmas everybody gets our sold basically and I, I wasn't out for long because Paul was going out to meet his friend and I only had like a couple hours and I managed to drink two and a half three pints and I was tipsy because I drank them quick. I got home and I was fine. I was sober by the time I got home because I had to walk home in the cold. And then Paul made his train and went out. And that's the last time, other than the Christmas party, and I think the Christmas party was before that, that I've been on a night out with anybody other than Paul. Because me and Paul, well, we didn't really go on nights out with Jennifer, but we do go to the pub occasionally. We take her with us and we sit in a beer garden even in winter and it's nice. She's always very well behaved in pubs anyway. If she wants to run around, we take her outside so she can run around. But I'm feeling it. And I don't like this feeling. It, it's to the point where I just don't want to do anything. And I, I am, because I've got Jennifer and I've got to look after her. And she is my main priority. So I'm grateful for her, because she is 
she makes me smile and I'm smiling now just thinking about her so she makes me so happy um but yes I am feeling it I can totally understand why people are getting very depressed during this situation I can I totally understand I really do and my heart goes out to anybody in the first lockdown for us it wasn't too bad because we did have a guard we have got a garden and on a nice sunny day um, after work I would take Jennifer outside and we'd play in the garden uh, I'd colour or we'd play or we'd go in the paddling pool um, and stuff like that it's winter now or autumn now and we can't not so much if it's dry and cold I'm happy to take her out and play but not so much in the wet. <laughs> I don't want to get wet. I like to be able to sit there, have a, have a Coke or a cup of tea, colour for a bit. And I would do it in the mornings as well, in the summer, and it was lovely. And if we get a cold, crisp day, I will probably will do it. I'll probably get myself some fingerless gloves and go outside and colour. But I, my heart goes out to anybody who feels this. I, I'm with you. I do, I do understand. Although I am a solitary person, I, I totally get it. Um, like I said, we had the garden. How people coped with only going out once a day, if they had only had a flat and no garden, I do not know. Because it, I mean, and I'm not a person that likes to go out that much, but I loved being out in the sun this year, even though I was stuck at home. And it's the first year, I mean, I don't like the sun, I, I get come out in a heat rash, but I really enjoyed it. I've got to get ready for work, and I'm chatting to you, which is great because I love chatting to you, and I'll probably feel completely different by the time I pick Jennifer up. I'm probably still a bit overtired from the weekend's shenanigans. As you know, Jennifer has now decided, no, found out she can get out of a cot and decides that's the funniest thing in the world to do, just to come out and say, no, no, and then of course she can't get back in. Um, and that's probably all contributing to it. I had a bad headache when I went to bed, so luckily that's gone. So hopefully by the time I pick her up, I'll be feeling fine. If, she, if she's very tired, she might want to sleep this afternoon. If she does, great, I could get my head down for now. I've got some eBay stuff to pack. I need to get back to doing eBay work because that might help me feel better, keep me busy. I mean, like I said, I don't, I'm not one of these people who, who lets myself get bored. Um, but I better get on because I'm going to be late for work. See you later. So, it's Monday night. Um, I didn't do much stuff in the end. I was playing with Jennifer mostly, just playing up here and just uh, generally having a laugh. She got very tired. She went to bed before seven. She was really tired, she crashed right out. She's still in her sleeping bag. Normally she takes it off at night because she, she doesn't like it. Um, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, do a bit of colouring, but not for much because I'm really tired myself. And that's it really. I've been having trouble uploading to YouTube today. I don't know why it won't upload the weekly vlog, so I've left it to try and upload and if it uh, doesn't do it, I'll have to scrap it for today and, and uh, try it again tomorrow. Oh, if you're a bit of YouTube, like I said, do some colouring, and then it's uh, Tuesday. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to get back on with the eBay, I think. I'm tired myself because I didn't have a sleep this afternoon because Jennifer didn't sleep, so which is fine. I did pack my two orders that I had to go out, which is good. They're ready to go. They'll go tomorrow. And <clears throat> tomorrow, I'm going to try list get some stuff listed again and start getting back into it. I've been lazy. Um, so there's a few things I can do tomorrow. I've got some records to sort out um, and put away. Uh, so I'm going to do that, I think, tomorrow. Get them off the table so I can clean the table off properly, get it nice and clean so I can get some stuff measured. Um, I've got loads of stuff I can get up. I've got loads of photographs on my phone to put on and I haven't done them. So I think tomorrow I'm just going to try and concentrate on getting five listed and five ready for listing for Wednesday. And I'll do that every day. So I'll list five and get five more ready. But I won't bust a gut on it. Because I just I just can't. It's just too much for me at the moment. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm tired and I'm going to head off to bed. Uh, hopefully the weekly vlog will get uploaded at some point And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Good morning. It's Andrea, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'm still having trouble uploading my um, vlog. So I've uploaded another video. And that uploaded fine, so I might have to re-edit the vlog and, and try it again, basically. Um, which will have to wait till after work, because I'm at work. Um, yeah, so what have I been up to? Um, well, last night I came to bed, did a little bit of colouring, and I decided to watch some stuff on William Shakespeare. So, the first one was just a basic overview of his life and times. The second to three documentaries, which I finished watching this morning, uh, were all part of the timeline series of, did basically cracking the Shakespeare's code, did, was the writer of Shakespeare, Sir Francis Bacon. 
Okay, and it all started out, you know, very interestingly, and, and you know, and then it got more convoluted and complicated, saying they were hit. I'll be back. Sorry about that. Yeah, it got very convoluted and very um, complicated, saying that it was all to do with the Templars and the rose crustaceans it's not right but i can't remember what it was and there was hidden treasure like the menorah from temple mount and all that and it's like okay i could believe that perhaps bacon hidden clues that he wrote it in there but to really go on about the rose crucians or whatever they're called and treasure and the mount and it was like uh, yeah now it's getting unbelievable now there's no nothing to say that there isn't things hidden in the shakespeare text but i'm sure if i looked hard enough in the complete works of shakespeare i could probably find uh marilyn monroe jean harlow and jane mansfield if i really wanted to um now i'm watching something about did shakespeare exactly exist um and possibly about various people who could possibly have written the plays instead of him and we're on to christopher marlowe because apparently the first written play by shakespeare um appeared 13 days after marlowe died now marlowe obviously was a playwright himself and he was murdered in a pub i believe and uh, he was also a spy uh, so the, I, the theory with that is of course he wanted to continue writing but couldn't under his name because he was faked his death because of something he learned and so which makes far more sense to me than any of the others and then he's because he wanted to continue writing he used William Shakespeare's name and probably um with Shakespeare's agreement because obviously Shakespeare was a real person he did exist he was a real live human being um which is more believable than any of the other fantasies but we'll see um I haven't finished this one yet but I am enjoying all this uh I do like a bit of culture every now and do you think uh, Shakespeare wrote his plays or do you think it was Bacon or Marlowe or one of the others? Let me know in the comments below. Fascinating. Do you know what? You probably think, what are you on about now that you jump from subject to subject? I refuse to be bored. Simply because I am not boring. See you later. Uh, Tuesday's over. I was going to do a colouring chat tonight but I'm tired and I just want to chill out so I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, it's also a bit later than I like to, to film because we've been watching a programme we recorded on the weekend called Darkland uh, which is a, a documentary about a serial killer in Wales back in the 70s, a series of unsolved crimes I think there's four of them or something but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna chill out, um, colour a bit uh, watch a few YouTube videos for half an hour and then I'm gonna hit the sack because I'm tired um, but yeah, it's just a... One of those things. Well, I'm going to colour a little bit of my Zodiac special, which is in my whip pile. And, uh, yeah. See what happens. And tomorrow I'll do some some filming. I still haven't done the AB either. I need to. My hair getting long and grey. <laughs> you can see where the, the colour changes. Uh, but obviously hairdressers are closed and I couldn't sit there for three hours with a mask on I don't mind wearing it around the shops, quite happy to do that but couldn't wear it for that long anyway, I will see you tomorrow it's Wednesday finally got the video to upload but I had to re-edit it and then it uploaded alright it was weird, it must have been something a glitch in the, the um, final edit anyway I'll see you tomorrow as you can tell, tired hey everybody, it's Andrea, it is Wednesday I think yeah Wednesday the 4th of November I am at work so I better get back in um but yeah just to say hi Jennifer's at nursery I'm gonna take her for a walk this afternoon it's a beautiful day it's freezing cold I had to put the heating on first thing in the morning but it is November so that's allowed um I went and ordered de-icer from Amazon today as well as some Sudafed and cleansing lotion so I don't have to go to supermarkets because uh, the supermarket I go to I haven't got any de-icer in at the moment so um yeah i'm gonna take her for a walk this afternoon so i will take you with me and we'll see what it's like out it's beautiful at the moment so hopefully she'll enjoy that It'll be nice um just watching various rubbish on youtube i say rubbish it's spooky stuff ghosts and stuff which i like but um yeah i'm gonna get back on with it now and i'll see you afterwards when we will go for work i've got something else to show you that i've got that i'm gonna try and start tonight i'll see you later managed to make it out on the canal it's a lovely day today it's cold this morning but the sun's shining Look at that, beautiful.
Oh dear, I can hear a voice. Some more hens up there. Some more hens down here. You feel actually. Is it going to focus? Doesn't want to focus. Hang on. Jennifer wants to throw sticks. There's more hens. They think it's food, Jed. <clears throat> You're for a little walk, I think. There you go, look at that view, and that's standing apart from the Obviously, cable um, across the mountains. Very nice. Nearly fell down the steps. Don't mind. Lovely day. We haven't gone very far. She keeps wanting to throw sticks in the um, canal. Beautiful colours on the trees. Look at that. Normally, I'd be taking photographs. So I just don't get time to edit them anymore, so I don't bother. Lovely day. Dad's talking to somebody. It's because he's got a camera. When we talking about pictures. It's lovely with the sunshine on the canal and the hills in the background. Oh, it's a stunning day. I'd love to go for a long walk up in the woods, but I ain't got the footwear for it at the moment. I need a pair of boots. <laughs> Jennifer is throwing things into the canal. Not blowing poo sticks because they're not floating. No. <laughs> You're not left handed. She's ambidextrous yeah. like me. You're ambidextrous, aren't you? Yeah. One more. Granddad. 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 I'll give it to her. <laughs> yeah, a baby one. <laughs> <laughs> Even I can't see down there. Oh, they're going, the Pacific, oh, they're going up there, side. come out the other side. They will. Jen, can I black? You can hear the birds. It's so nice out here, so peaceful. You can also hear the bypass, which is not good. There's a kingfisher about, I've seen him flying around. No one out the camera point is in the right direction though, but that's uh, kingfishers for you. At least he's about. There he goes. It's just such a nice day. Going home in a minute. There's berries on the tree. And holly berries. Nice. Okay, it is bedtime now. I'm upstairs. I'm not feeling over well. I've got a bad stomach and I feel a bit dodgy. Um, but I'm going to do a colouring chat because I haven't done one for a while. Um, and I've got some flip throughs that I've been asked to do. So I've got five flip throughs I've got to film and I'm gonna do my colouring chart. I don't think the colouring chart take long because I'm gonna use the markers and I'm gonna be colouring in tattoo grayscale. So I've got my three of my five flip throughs just here ready. But I also want to show you what else I've got. I bought this diamond painting, which is a snowman. I just thought it'd be nice for Christmas. Um I haven't finished the Marilyn one I bought. And uh and what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll cut it down to the right size and try and get a, a 12 by 16 frame or 30 to 40 centimetre frame um, just by, you know, just uh, um, from what or somewhere like that. I hang it up in Jennifer's room, it's quite nice, even though it's snowing, it's not really, it's not got Christmas on it, it's not got Father Christmas on it, so it can stay up for most of the year to be honest. It's got a little bird and the snowman's cute, so I might have a go at that if I feel up to it afterwards, even though I've finished the Marilyn one. So um, I'm going to call it a night for the vlog for tonight, and I'm going to crack on with this and then watch some scary stuff if I feel 
really poorly tomorrow if I still feel like this. I don't think I'll be working. I'll be taking Jen to nursery because I'll need, I need to, to rest. But um, I'll just see how I feel. I'll probably be fine by morning, I've got to be honest. Good dose of water, orange juice in the morning. I'll probably feel a lot better. It's just, I, I feel really dodgy. I might have eaten something bad. Who knows? Who knows? I, I, I mean, I don't feel so ill that I'm going to die <laughs> or anything. And I don't feel so ill. I, I don't. I don't want to do anything and I do want to crack on so I'm going to do this I will see you tomorrow it's a Thursday I don't know what we got planned for tomorrow I could really murder a diet coke though I shouldn't drink one this time of night mind you it doesn't stop me sleeping so I might get one in a minute if I still feel like I need one the fizzy I want the fizzy but then that might yeah I don't know it might make me worse I've got some water so I'll be drinking that anyway I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you later hi guys it's Thursday and I haven't been vlogging today it's actually Thursday afternoon Jennifer's been to nursery and I've picked her up <clears throat> last night I wasn't feeling very well today I'm really not feeling very, very well I literally for, um, took Jennifer to nursery uh, let work know and just went back to sleep and I've been asleep all day so she's downstairs with dad now she's quiet, she was kicking off for a bit I just feel really ill so I've just got some sort of bug I think I'll be alright in a bit, hopefully in the next day or so so I'm just going to kick back and chill out for the rest of the day and, and try and get some rest drink plenty of fluids and try and sleep a bit. Um, I've got a bit of a headache as well, so yeah, not feeling very good today. Not doing anything unlike yesterday, which was lovely and going for that walk. I really enjoyed it. I, I just picked something up somewhere, and I, I feel terrible. So I do apologise that there's nothing happening today. Hopefully, I'll be better tomorrow, but I'm not going to guarantee that. So I'm, I'm literally I haven't even got the TV on up here. I've been asleep all day. I'm just I'm gonna go back to sleep now so um, I'll check in with you later tonight hopefully and let you know how I'm feeling hey everyone it's Andrea it's Friday um, I'm still not feeling well but I'm gonna get Jen from nursery in a minute so I've just been watching some YouTube rubbish not rubbish it's good it's scary stuff I love the scary stuff um, not that scary um, but yeah, I've been watching, um, what's the channel called? Do I just get, the ch it's in the adverts at the moment, I'll get back to the channel, I'll let you know what it's called. It's called, oh, I'm going to have to get close to it because I can't read that. Top fives, but it's all top five scary stuff. So at the moment they're doing Devon um, and Dartmoor area, and they actually mentioned a church in, um, near a village called Buckfastley, which is where my brother used to live, the Holy Trinity, which is allegedly haunted. Um, yeah, my brother used to live in Buckfastley. There you go. Right, I'm going to go and get Jennifer. I'll hopefully see you later. It depends on what we get up to, which probably won't be much because I'm better, but not not 100% yet. I'm just having trouble uploading videos again to YouTube. I don't know what is going on. Um, I've always used the same file format. I've never had a problem until I like, try and upload the weekly vlog last week or the one that went up on, on Tuesday. Went to upload Colour and Chat yesterday wouldn't work re-edited it still wouldn't work so I've tried a different file format now so I'm going to see if that works so I'll see you in a bit so it's Friday evening feeling a eh? fruit pastels um yeah I want fruit pastels you can bring them in as well I've, I haven't tried them yet so it's Friday evening and um, we're just discussing sweets because we're going to be um uh, doing the Friday 90s music quiz tonight. So we didn't do a quiz in last week, you might have noticed that. But this week we decided to do one tonight and tomorrow, so just, well we think. So tonight's is Friday's 90s music and tomorrow will be music trivia. So we're just waiting for them to open the room on Zoom and let us in. I've got a colouring book with me because I like to colour in between the rounds. I'll let you know how we get on. The first round and we're 27th and there's about 60 people playing so that's pretty cool. We'll see you later. I'm gonna go because it's music. Playing. End of round two, and we've gone up two places to 25th. It's all music, and I don't know a lot of it because it's 90s, and it's all right. Like this really not my type of thing. End of round three, drop down to 20th because it was R&B, and we know yeah, diddly squat, zilch, nothing, nada, zip about R&B. Really, we got a few right, but we're not big on them. So no, no, no. This now we've dropped down to 34th. Cheesy songs. They're all really bad. As you can hear, Spice Girls in the background. That says it all. To the quiz. Just gone ten. Nearly ten past ten, and we're uh, waiting for the scores. Next week, the theme is the eighties, so that would be cool. Uh, just waiting now for the final scores. Great. <laughs> right. Just get on with it.
I like Mark, but he's rattling. I'll let you know when they come on. So we came in at 34th out of 60, which ain't too bad. It's all right. Not for the fall. Yeah. And tomorrow we get to do it all again with the uh, music trivia. That'd be fun. Next Friday with our 80s and next Friday is 80s. Woo! -hoo. We like the 80s one. I like the 80s one, don't I? I like the 80s. Anyway, gonna have a shower and go to bed now. Tired. Jennifer's been asleep for hours already. Which means she'll probably be up early, so better crack on and go to bed. See you in the morning. Bye, guys. Hello, everybody. It's Saturday. Jennifer's here. There's Paul waving at you. Here's Jennifer. You can say hello. Oh, she's just she's just cleaned her teeth, so she's very happy with herself. She likes cleaning her teeth, don't you, Jen? No. Yeah, there she yeah. is. And we're off to see check on Nana Sally, see how she is, aren't we? Because she's all on her own, so and we don't like that. So we're allowed to go and see Nanny Sally, Paul's mum, because she's uh, got no one else. So I'm going to see Nanny Sally's dog. Shadow, won't we? We all see Shadow? Yeah. yeah. She's still scared of dogs, but she wants to look at them a lot. You pretty girl? <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, right, should we go? Yeah. What time is it, Paul? Eight quiz time! Yay! Right. This quiz is really hard tonight, but it's fun. We're having a laugh. We got one fastest, which was what kind in the nursery rhyme, what kind of horse was ridden to Banbury Crops? Of course it's cock horse. So we got that fastest. But that's just because I know it, yeah. <laughs> most of them we got them wrong. Yeah, mostly it's a disaster, as Paul said. But going for break soon. One more. Apparently they're gonna do home alone quizzes. How dull. Not the best. Christmas movie ever that would that that title goes to It's a Wonderful Life followed by Die Hard I'm sorry there you go we're waiting for the scores it's not going to be good I need the loop uh, right let's have a quick check how are you getting on how do you think that round went badly thumbs up, thumbs up, let's have a look though shall we you reckon yeah not too bad yeah not very good some of the ones in there that's how it always works there's a couple of fussy rounds as well so hopefully they won't put you off too much uh, right Let's end that round and see where we are on the scores after one round. Here comes the scores. I can put them on the, on the phones as well, but I'll do it on the uh, on your on your devices. Uh, well, we're not last. Moment, what to do? Then, we're not. Is, uh, there. Forty-two uh, people playing. Uh, we're not last. Last place, but loads and loads of you really, really tough. It's only oh. one round. I'm looking for Me too. Uh, so there we go. Top twenty. There we are. Twenty-two. Um, Could have been a lot worse. Happy with that. That'll do us for now. Hopefully, the next round will go better, but you never know with this kind of quiz. Not too bad. Not too bad. Back to. You had sequencing with years. You had to put the top five that were in the year at this time, like in 1987, 2000, 2004. That's horrible. Uh, that was really good. Well, because he, and he screwed up one of the questions by giving the answer, which we knew when we got it right. We would have had a bad points. So I'm very, very annoyed at him. Very annoyed. But let's see how badly we've done in this round, because that round was horrendous. Don't forget the last round's evil mode. Don't mind evil mode. If you're wrong, be careful on Here comes the scores going into our last round. Here we go. Lots to play for. I'll give you a quick heads up. We'll do a quick song and then we'll go straight into the last round because that'll be the speed round. Uh, so at the moment then, that is where you are. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, not too bad yet. Oh, we've dropped to 23rd. Um, so that's not too bad. Quite, I'm happy with that because it was horrible. Anyway, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next one. That was another terrible round to the end then, hopefully. While I get the scores all sorted then, we'll just play that as we speak. And we're back with the scores. Mm. Not good, but fun, and that's all that matters. And then we're gonna have a bit of um, Oasis. Yeah, Oasis. See, I'm not up on them and this music. And I, yeah, I know I like this song. Brit pop next that day, so we'll be up for that, won't we? Well, Paul, will I just press yeah. the button? Okay. Let's get you See where we were at the end. How bad did it go? We lost a few. We gained a few. I love it. Uh, here we go. Yeah, Brit pop. We'll here do that one. Go. So that will be advertised very, very shortly. Here we go. Here are your final scores. 
Here we go. Right, if you see your... We're not last. Quizzy Rascals was last. Cheer everybody. I don't think they were playing, to be honest. Top 30. Top 30, yeah. Top 37. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 23rd, which is where we were at the end of the other round. So, that's okay. Could be worse. Now... Um, Next Friday, oh, we're a bit dim, it's on the right one. Next Friday, there is an 80s music quiz, so we will be doing that. So, Michelle, if you're watching, come and join us. Bring Richard and Daisy, get them on too, and let's all have a laugh. So, let me know if you can join us next Friday. If you want to, it's Speedy Trivia Quizzes on Facebook and mbquizzes.com uh, uh, to buy tickets, and it's £5. It works out as 5 35 with the booking fee. But it's so much fun, please, 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 if you're free. Come and join us, please. It's eighties. You'd be fab at it. We all know you would. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Um, I'm off to bed. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's also half past five. Somebody was yelling at twenty past. Here's my gorgeous girl. So I've had to get up. So as soon as Paul gets up and he's up, up, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> the joy of kids. You right, baby? Can you say hello. No, it's too early. She's drinking her milk. She's fine. Been shopping, done that. Jennifer's here. Well, we were shopping. I had to speak to my mum for something, and um, we had to go down to their house, which we shouldn't have. It's only an empty can, Jen. Don't worry. And because uh, Rose had decided to go for a wander. So Dad was uh, pottering around doing stuff outside and inside and he left the gate open. Now Rose won't go for a walk on the lead, but if you leave the gate open, she's out. So Dad spent an hour and a half looking for her. And then when we did our shopping, I went up and was help driving around looking for her. And then just as I was driving around for the third time, I saw him walking up the road with her. She'd gone into one of the gardens just a little bit up the road. Um, Mike's is the one with, one with lovely flowers. Because she'd gone in there, I was just lying down, and everybody was fussing her as they went past. Couldn't see her when you were driving because she was lying down, so because the walls were in the way. So, gosh, so got to see mum and dad just because of trying to help find the bloody dog. She's a strange one, that Rose. She's so funny. She will not go for a walk on the lead. She's terrified of traffic because she, she was a rescue dog and she grew up on a, a farm out in the middle of nowhere. And um, yeah, but she's fine. And here's Jen. <laughs> Jennifer, put that empty Coke can down. You are not drinking Coke. Do you want a drink? All wet. You're all wet. There was a bit of dribble of coke. Do you want some milk? You gonna say hello? No, you don't want to say hello today. You're a bit wet. Yeah, don't worry. You'll be all right. Leave the coke cans alone. They're not for you. So, back home now. Put the shop in away and have some lunch. Still exhausted, did have a little doze after Paul got up, bless. Went up for a couple of hours, got a bit of sleep. I think she's getting tired now because she's getting silly. She always gets a bit silly when she's tired. You're not that wet, just a dribble. See what I mean? Look, she's got a little dribble on her jumper. Paul's looking at the Lidl's Christmas catalogue. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll be back later. After getting up early, Jennifer's passed out basically. She fell asleep on me. And I've put her down. She's got a head on her meerkat. Put a blanket over her. She's all snuggled up. Pepper pigs on. I'm just gonna let her sleep, bless her. Getting up early has whacked her out, I think. There you are. So pretty. So, Paul and Jennifer have gone up to bed. I've got four, three orders to pull, uh, so I'm gonna do that now. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Paul's not feeling brilliant, much like I wasn't last week. And Jennifer had a good sleep, so she's only just gone up now. She's still tired, so hopefully she's all right. I'm gonna sit and watch episode five of Tommy in a minute, but first I'm actually going to uh, go and get my orders done. I've just uploaded a video, which is a colouring chat, not a colouring chat, a flip through, and um, that's gonna be it for today, because as soon as I've done my orders, I'm gonna have a shower, put some washing in the dryer, and I'm gonna head up to bed myself, because I want to try and make some videos tonight. I've got a couple of um, videos to finish. I want to finish the um, Shuttle Art Mark first impressions that can go up this week and do a bit more on the our teaser pencils one because of course we've still got the watercolours to do as well so mm. yeah 
so I'm gonna get on with that so that's it for this week tomorrow we have freedom it, we come out of lockdown tomorrow so we'll be going to see my mum and dad I can't wait I know I saw them today briefly but that was to help find the dog she's fine by the way tired from all her wanderings but she's fine so I'm gonna crack on like I said we're free tomorrow so we might get to do a few more things next week if I can I plan on doing something on Saturday I, I would like to go into Newport I haven't seen it for ages just to have a walk around not gonna go mad make sure we got masks and everything and we're safe and hand sanitizer and all that good stuff but you can't live in fear forever we have got to start trying to um, get on with it I think um, so it's all about being careful but life gotta go on so i'll see you tomorrow uh i'm feeling much better i must admit i, I do want to shower i like getting to bed nice and clean and i'll do a bit of filming watch a bit of youtube and uh, that'll be it really so thank you for joining me on this week like i said there will be another one next week i'll see you then bye guys